Vibes Cartel book, The Voice of the Jamaican Ghetto, was released last year, and since then, the reactions have been quite mixed. Even persons who admitted that they have not read the book, but they have absolutely no intention, just because it's written by Vibes Cartel, and because of his questionable reputation. Well, Dr. Carlin Cooper, lecturer at the University of the West Indies, has a totally different idea of the book. In fact, she's thinking that it should be a part of the CXC syllabus. Give me a chance to talk from poor people beyond. Honestly, I was surprised at how good it was. It was indeed a surprise for Dr. Cooper after having read the voice of the Jamaican ghetto. Like many other people, I had a prejudice that oh, maybe it's nothing much. One of the things I was surprised about is Cartel's attitude to abortion, for example. I know that this is a very delicate subject in Jamaica, and most of the DJs condemn women who have abortions, call them cemetery, that's rebellion, this kind of thing. Cartel has a very sophisticated view of it in my mind as a feminist, as somebody who supports the right for women to choose. His position is that women must have the freedom to choose and we need to look at the circumstances that the women find themselves in, that maybe abortion is a viable option. Now I know for some people this is going to be a next black mark against Cartel. Dr. Cooper's article in the Sunday Gleaner suggested that the book should be added to the CXE syllabus. No, you know, the idea of putting Cartel in the CXE syllabus. I wrote that I knew that people would get upset, but I was trying to make the point that he's dealing with social issues in a way that students can identify with. Social studies, one of the big themes in the social studies curriculum is the individual in society, looking at family individual society. This book deals with these issues and some of the some of the some of the books that they will give the students to read. They may not want to read it, but you could use Cartel's book that you know they are going to be interested in as a jumping off point to deal with the same issues. No future suffer like that. No eat last night and a cry said them hungry. I'm going to recommend that, you know, the publishers give a copy to the Minister of Education. Let him read it. And in fact, it's one of the recommended texts for my reggae poetry course. It's not required reading, but it's one of the recommended texts that they can read to understand dance hall. The cartel is somebody who reads a lot, you know. You can hear in his lyrics and in the book the fact that this is a man who likes to read. All the sisters are teaching now, you know. Yeah, but from a from long time, from when I was a child, she always encouraged me to read the star. Like she started off with the comics first, like Mandrake, Aga the Arab, Lock Hands, you know, and all the comics. Believe it or not, up to this day my Arab is by a star, I have to read Believe It or Not. Yeah, so reading is a habit from childhood days. Even if I have a meal, and from cartoon I go on, as a youth, even 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, straight reading. The book cover boasts an iconic pose of the late revolutionary leader Malcolm X. Cartel represented as Malcolm X, so I think he's deliberately playing with this idea that he's more than a DJ, he's a black power icon, that he's speaking about social and political issues that are larger than what we would think would be his canvas as a dancer or a DJ, you know? And so I think he's trying to make a connection between what he's saying and what a Malcolm X might have said that, you know, he's very much into hip hop and, you know, that kind, and he's into the black American connections. I think Cartel definitely sees himself as a kind of African diasporic figure making the connections with black America. And then I get emails from people say, well, so, all right, suppose I'm a conscious song, so what would the whole for other one left? So I said, you know, but we have to take the whole spectrum into account. And I said, one of the issues that y'all are facing is a question of demand as well as supply. Many times the artists do what they think the artist wants. So if we don't want the songs, they're not going to produce them. So don't just say, Cartel sing all of them bad songs. There's a market for it. So we have to look at what is it about us in our society that makes us gravitate to some kinds of songs. The artist has captured global attention is from his songs to his colorful image. He's even referred to as the Bob Marley of dance hall. When they include up and the needle a joke, tattoo sell off everybody off the look. Yalla say me pretty like a coloring book. She say me skin pretty like a coloring book. Well yes, but you see people don't even like to make those comparisons. I wrote another column a few months ago in which I took one of Cartel's songs, one of Bob Marley's songs, and showed that it was the same message. 
but people don't like to hear that. We, might, we can sit down here saying it's foolishness, but we don't realize that he's a, an icon. Cartel is still incarcerated and is awaiting trial. Where them call police for, them can't stop the crime. All I'm saying is if we don't bring him to trial, we are running the risk of people being able to say, you see, is because of all the things where I'm set against the system, where I'm set against Babylon, I'm set why they have him in prison, not necessarily because of any crime that he has committed. I remember, this is, I remember, in our legal system, you are still innocent until proven guilty. So we can't be assuming that cartel is a criminal. Yes, it may well be a criminal, you know. It may well do the things, but my position is until we prove it, we can't make that judgment. And this is what makes entertainment and dance all so colorful. The different opinions, the debates. Well, you know what? We just have to keep it locked to the wrap for all the exclusive stories and everything that is happening. On that note, that's a wrap for us this week. As always, thank you, our viewers, for tuning in and making it the wrap. I am Sadiqa Dayaram. Have a pleasant weekend. See you next week. Take away from what's in your DNA. Humankind rooted in the promised land or destiny. It's time to embrace the race. Black is power, black is grace, black is beauty and diversity. Like the stems of a tree, rooted in the soil of Mama Africa. Yeah, we eat the fruit, that's the knowledge that is used. But they don't tell the truth of Mama Africa. Africa. Human life began. Take the time to overstand the land. Africa is part of Jaja's plan. Take the time to overstand the land of Africa.